So I've been having this problem with Caden Live where when I export my screen recordings, it's really blurry. Now, I wasn't sure if this was being introduced when I was actually recording the screen. So for instance, I do a screen grab in Caden Live and I just turn on video and audio. Or if it was happening during the rendering process when I would actually export this to a file. So the way I've kind of gone through and tested this is I have used Kazam to do a quick screen record and then like I'm doing right now, and then basically I want to look at the raw file. And when I did that, it looked pretty good. You can tell that the icons on the side are pretty similar resolution to the icons on my actual desktop computer, and the screen generally looks okay. Now when I take that exact same clip, and I put it into Caden Live, I import it, and then I render it to a file, it ended up looking something like this. So you'll notice the difference. The icons are really blurry on the side. The display over here isn't great. It's hard to kind of see. So I knew that the actual problem was being introduced when I would render the file. The way I've gone and fixed this is if you go to the settings of your Caden Live project and you do configure Caden Live, there is a project default section and you can set a default profile. So mine was set up to use this PAL uh, 1024 576 profile. If I scroll down and I actually just choose to do a HD 1080p 60 frames per second profile and then I apply and I say OK, it should render a little better. But, well, let me do a test actually. So if I actually render this file again and I overwrite the file that's already on my desktop, it'll take a couple seconds to render here. It's a pretty short video. You'll notice that it's probably not actually going to be any better. Now, the reason for that is, is I actually have to close out of Caden Live and then restart it for these changes to, to take effect. So let's take a look at this just to make sure. I open it up. Yep, it's still blurry, so it looks like it didn't work. But let's go back in here. Let's go to Caden Live. Let's exit out of here. And let's uh, not save any of our changes to our document. Let's open up Caden Live again. And let's just load in that clip one more time. This is the raw screen capture from Kazam and then let's bring it down here and let's export it one more time with our render. So come up here, let's put it on the desktop. Let's again, let's override that file from Caden Live and let's export it. Now this time around, we should be getting those new settings that we had configured in our project default. So we should be getting the 1080p HD settings. So come over here, Looks like this file might need another second to just render. Okay, so that finished. We see it over in the corner there. And now if I open it up, hey, that looks like a lot better resolution. So that seems to have solved the issue.